Yeah, we're going to definitely be comparing these uh, two 7-inch uh, uh, tablets. <sighs> Which is probably, like, in the 7-inch here is this cheap-ass RCA tablet. Yeah, the cheap, <laughs> the cheap-ass part of bro. RCA tablet that uh, sold at Walmart. And the 7th generation. Fire 7 tablet. We're going to compare them anyway. Compare them and uh, I think I think another way to make this comparison more interesting. We're going to see how you stack up to uh, the 9th generation. Fire 7 tablet. <laughs> so I guess we'll just see how they, uh, how they uh, add up. In this video. You can so easily tell you can customize it, but you can basically, it comes with all the usual shit there anyway, but I will just look for, say, streaming a YouTube video. So we'll just uh Then we search by the barrel. We can definitely see there's a lot of shit that has Where's another bomb of the barrel upgrade? This one will be like an upgrade, supposedly it will be an upgrade to huh. video editing capabilities. This is like a refurbished. This one is refurbished. Like this one is a ref huh. refurbished uh, Mac Mini. Yeah, it's been refurbished. This one. I guess you can easily tell that before the 7th generation Fire 7 tablets were never able to play uh, they were never able to play those uh, play YouTube videos and say high definition I guess we'll just uh, just to make it just more smoother Check the coil on this. Check 
Okay. Well, this is going to be a thorough review of the uh, Amazon Fire 7 tablet. A nice thorough review about all the ups and all the downs and everything. Like various applications, like one, it does play music, it does stream uh, whatever. But, say, but the problem is, one of the setbacks, you have to buy a separate antivirus software. So that's like one difference right there, <clears throat> which is you could basically say being able to watch YouTube videos in high, in, uh, high definition. <clears throat> that's probably since I was probably due to say subsequent uh, upgrades. But it's not even, even even though that the seventh generation Fire Seven tablets could probably play YouTube videos in high definition, but they're not going to play them in say sixty frames per second. HF R eight hundred. And you're asking if I have a DSLR camera, that'd be used for it. I don't need a second camcorder for. When I got one, it already works. Well, the reason is. This one's cable is said to be capable of filming 24 frames per second. <laughs> the ironic part is, interesting, the funny part is, that same camera that's, that's being unboxed at Vix HF R800, I'm using the same one to film this video. Another difference here is like if I could go home, it says all the apps you have installed, the ones that came in the system, and those you download yourself and install. Do items like your books, like you want to like read what are books you got, and it says here for you. So I was about to say whatever apps, recent apps, weather. We see your books. Video, games and apps, <laughs> shop if you want to shop for whatever shit. If you like music, if you like Audible, newsstand, all that shit. And I mean, if you've probably seen the video test of this camera, if you've seen a video te video camera test on this. Just from high definition. So if all fire tablets are capable of filming high definition and have expandable memory, then it runs faster and it and it uh, responds faster. Oops. You can watch videos. <clears throat> you can watch videos, listen to music on this. <clears throat> Just like any tablet out there. Oh yeah, even the Fire Tablet's got its own built-in web browser, Silk. Which is probably the only web browser you can get for it. There ain't no, there ain't no others available for it. They can put it sideways and view a website more easily. Yeah, apparently, you only get one. You can only get one web browser for uh, the Fire tablets, but but you could you could do the same with it. Like you can sit there and uh, view uh, emails, view e like view emails if needed. If you got like say a Hotmail or Outlook email address, Outlook's available for uh, the Fire tablets, but for productivity. The fire tablets lack in that. Like say they don't have uh like say some of the good uh, quality software like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. They made that available for the fire tablet to be perfect. 
Oh yeah, made out of web browsers available for it too. That'd be a lot more interesting. It would make it a lot more interesting. But an ad still very much does everything uh, you need it to do. Now you can easily tell with Android tablets, they don't have the same type of user interface as the uh, as the uh, Fire tablets. But one of the major advantages is that Fire ta that the uh, Android tablets can give you can give you more applications. And even with this RCA tablet can run, that the Fire tablets cannot run, like Figure Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And it gives you like, and it gives you multiple web browser options. Like one, Silk browser does not work; is, is not available for uh, Android tablets, but it does offer you like, say, other applications, like say Vimeo. Oh yeah, it's an application you should put on the fire tablets. And applications you'll never be able to find that, that you'll never that'll never be available for any Amazon Fire tablets. Voodoo, Sam's Club, Walmart. Look at the other applications that like web browsers like Firefox. Very good web browser for PCs. <laughs> oh yeah. If you pay uh, money for McAfee or Norton Antivirus, you can probably get that for your system. For your Android tablets. So, and, and, and user interface on Android tablets varies. Yes, you can run Netflix on there. Now we're going to check the uh, YouTube capabilities. So I'm going to just stop this video here for a second. And get it queued up anyway. Find a proper video to queue up. For this video. I tell you it's cheap ass Android tablet. This cheap ass RC Android tablet. It's probably slow as a motherfucker. But it's a, but, uh, it's a good... But it's a good uh, but it makes a good uh, tablet for say people uh, for people starting out. Kept one of the previous videos you saw on the Fire tablet. Now how would that same video of Q, uh, work on uh, the RCA tablet? I'm just quality. What the? I want to play uh, above 720 progressive scan. That's a major disadvantage there. Amazon Fire 7 tablet. A nice sort of review about all the ups and all the downs and everything. Like various applications, like one, it does play music, it does stream uh, whatever. But, it's a, but the problem is, one of the setbacks. You have to buy a separate antivirus software. It says ESCT Mobile Security. This does actually work anyway. You can tell it's Roy really slower than a motherfucker. Slow as a motherfucker. <clears throat> trying to load these goddamn video. Trying to load this. Trying to respond. <laughs> Well, here's yet another unboxing video. And this is going to be a good unboxing video. Huh. I figure, and this will probably be, and this will probably be, 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 this will what we're going to be unboxing is this. Canon Fixia 
HF R800. Oh. And you're asking, if I ever have a DSLR camera, that'd be used for it. Okay. Oh, play 60 frames per second. So I guess this uh, Android tablet does have a fucking advantage. As well as being able to run applications that, <clears throat> like say, what, like being like like gives you the ability to say buy from Walmart, from from Walmart's application, or watch anything you purchase through Voodoo on wall on on it. Like you can't find Voodoo on uh, any, any Fire tablet. <clears throat> yeah, because fucking what? Because Walmart does not like Amazon. And they're not gonna fucking. Do the unthinkable. So that would be the, unf the fuck fucking unthinkable. A second camcorder for. When I got one, it only works. Well, the reason is. This one's cable is said to be capable of filming 24 frames per second. Check the packaging there. So at least this, at least this uh, cheap Android tablet could play 60 frames per second, could play YouTube videos in 60 frames per second. <clears throat> That's like good because <laughs> that one was filmed in 60 frames per second. The unboxing of that. So that makes a comparison right there. I guess this pretty much has a. Uh, Advantages, like say, you could install a lot more on this. Because, because Android, you figure they have uh, a lot more applications available for Android. But another interesting fact you can get uh, Amazon Prime Video on your Android tablets and smartphones. Same with, say, Amazon Kindle. So, any, bo any, Kindle, any books you purchase from Amazon in Kindle format. You can read down your uh, <clears throat> Android device. That's for, that's complete. That's complete irony here. Complete fucking irony is <laughs> you're able to simply uh, buy a goddamn book. What I say, you buy a goddamn book from Amazon in Kindle format. Any read on a device on an Android tablet or whatever, they you, you fucking buy it to uh, Walmart. That's complete. That's 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 complete fucking irony right there. <clears throat> I used to too, like say Cloud TV, which is a pay TV service that uh, <laughs> usually just carries channels that are not available anywhere else. So well, they do have some exceptions, like some channels are available over the air. Oh yeah, Stream Court TV directly. Core TV app, but say, but there's Android tablets that could probably go faster than this son of a bitch here. Oh, I'll probably admit. This one here is slow as a motherfucker, and, and it definitely, and it doesn't, uh, and it might go to the battery very quickly. <coughs> now we'll go on to uh, another item to compare in this video. You have face on the uh, ninth generation Fire 7 tablet. It's still the same. It's pretty much the same anyway. Though the Silk Browser icon is different. Here's your news. Click on Amazon. So you can get history, bookmarks, whatever. List, whatever. This one, this ninth generation tablet here has a few more applications built into it. It has a few more applications installed. Do say a degree of capacity. But we should see if this uh, plays uh, high definition videos. Which it probably will. And this one does have the ability to play. High definition videos.
Well, here's yet another unboxing video. And this Hmm. That could be a good unboxing video. I figure, and this will probably be, and this unboxing video will be very beneficial for, say, the web series I've been trying to get off the ground for, like, say, a couple of years. What we're going to be unboxing is this Canon Fixia HF R800. And you're asking if I already have a DSLR camera. I'll be used for it. Well, like I can say it does uh, it's better than, than that uh, cheap house RCA tablet. I mean, that doesn't play 60 frames per second. Definitely does play full 1080 progressive scan. Which is good. And it's another advantage of the Fire uh, so that the Amazon Fire tablet says that cheap house RCA tablet does not have. <coughs> Is that the RC8? Is that the cheap RCA Voyager 3 tablet does not film high definition? It doesn't film high definition at all. Not at all. Ah, uh, so for this bit, we're gonna see what's in the uh, camera bags. I guess we've been seeing enough with this, uh, I guess we've seen enough of that, uh, Fire 7 tablet, here, this ninth generation one. You know what it's capable of? <laughs> Web browsers, uh, options are, are still limited. But the only difference is, the ninth generation tablet, ninth generation Fire 7 tablet, has the capability to, uh, say so you, you have the capability to install up to, say, 5 or 12 <clears throat> gigabytes. Of extra uh, storage capacity on it, so as micro SD cards, whereas the uh, seventh generation Fire Seven tablet does not have the does not have that type of capacity. Now it's getting right to the point here. Like say, comparing the uh, tablets anyway, like the uh, cheap RCA <laughs> Voyager Three that uh, you can buy at Walmart, and uh, the Amazon Fire Seven, the seventh generation Amazon Fire Seven tablet. One of the advantages that the seventh generation Fire Seven tablet has a larger has a longer battery life, it's more simplified in terms of construction, has the capability to accept a larger store uh, extra uh, more additional storage for micro SD cards, and Fire Seven tablet here can film in HD high definition, 720 progressive scan. If you saw the camera test videos. You can understand anyway. <clears throat> and uh, the same cable that could be used to transfer uh, items or whatever from from uh, your computer to this device. Could also the same cable could be used to charge it if ne if necessary. And the same could be said for uh, the ninth generation Fire Seven tablet. The ninth generation Fire 7 tablet offers uh, more storage capacity by default. All that shit. Like we're the cheap uh, RCA tablet. Yeah, I figure what, what both these devices could do. Like one, they could be used to access your emails, go online, whatever. You can, you can play games on them, stream YouTube videos, watch Pluto TV. But a notable difference is, like, say, that's common grounds, like, with the cheap RCA tablet, could do that the, uh, Fire tablets cannot do, is you could be able to, say, you can get, say, Walmart has applications available for the Android tablets and shit, so you could shop at Walmart to their applications, and also, the Android tablet, you could probably watch YouTube videos in 60 frames per second, if this video is available in that, uh, frame rate. <clears throat> which is a lot. And something else you could do with the, with the uh, cheap RCA tablet is watch videos you purchase through Voodoo through Voodoo's uh, application. Whereas you probably cannot do that with a Fire tablet. I think, say, theoretically you probably could, but you probably have to use the Silk browser to get to it. It's a possibility. 
or Voodoo's tablet. Say the Voodoo application is not available for, for Amazon Fire tablets, nor is the Sam's Club application or the Walmart application. But even then, you, can't even, you cannot uh, buy an Amazon Fire tablet at Walmart for various fucking reasons. But uh, what the fuck would say? But the uh, but the cheap uh, RCA tablet cannot do is film videos in high definition. But what the RCA, what what any Android tablet could do, you can watch Amazon Prime videos through it, read books purchased through Amazon Kindle, whatever, in Kindle format. <laughs> That's surprising, anyway. And like the cheap RCA tablet, slow as a motherfucker, it could be slow as a motherfucker. Yes, it could be slow. Takes a long time to respond. An high definition video is limited to say 720 progressive scan, 720p. Even the Voyager 3 reviews, called say uh, bare bones uh, features, whatever. So figure both these tablets, you could pretty much check email, either to respect the web browser through an application, if available. But say an Android tablet, you could check your Gmail directly through an application. And if you have a YouTube, and if you're right, and if you have, and if you have an account on YouTube, log into the YouTube account automatically. But you can watch you, but say both both these devices, you can watch YouTube videos. But even then, these ta these uh, tablets do not make uh, are not gonna, are not going to be uh, qualifying as replacements for laptops and shit. Even then, a Windows tablet would probably make a would make a different replacement for a laptop. Yeah, figure uh, RCA's tablet like Windows tablets. They probably they probably qualify as the two in one setups. So even then, if you're pretty, if you're looking for a tablet, if you're looking for a tablet, you probably get a better deal with a uh, a Fire tablet, especially since they have the ninth generations out there out in the market. But if you're looking for a cheap Android tablet, you could buy a Voyager three, or just go buy just go buy it just go trade to a different brand of a uh, tablet. You could probably find better uh, Android tablets on the market if you don't want to spend. That's, that's if you want to spend a goddamn, like spend a goddamn hour and a fortune for a fucking iPad. And you could definitely get uh, styluses. There's a whole variety of them on the market. And that's why these do not have. And that's why these tablets do not have uh, any fingerprints on them. I'm picking on how I handle it. Oh, I do. I deal with the screens and shit. I figure the ninth generation Fire Seven tablet. Would be would be a good buy anyway over over an Android tablet anyway because what another another advantage that you can get with Amazon tablets figure if you could pay installments that's a that's a major advantage or if you want to uh, save roll money get with special offers which will then just advertise shit like whatever advertising and shit and that then that helps, uh, helps uh, cheapen the uh, cost of the tablets or cheap should I say a lot of people say get a cheaper price, or spend the extra money you get without special offers, like I did for this for the ninth generation one. And then you're better off just buying a uh, and they're and they're back with RCA tablets. If you saw the unboxing video, I guess a USB port you could probably use a transfer shit, headphone jack, but this one here. And with, with the unboxing video, what I've mentioned the unboxing video is that the RCA, and that's the uh, RCA Voyager 3 tablet, has a separate AC adapter and plug and shit. So if you want to plug it in, figure plug it in, charge it, figure you want to charge it up. Whereas the F Amazon Fire tablet's major advantage is that the AC adapter, that the cable, functions as a USB cable too. So it's like basically two in one. <laughs> Simplicity. So you could probably transfer documents and shit onto a fire tablet and use the same cable for charging up and shit. Or right, that, the Voyager 3 tablet's a good cheap uh, Android tablet. I mean, a good cheap star tablet for beginners. Like if you wanted to say, I'll oh, test an Android tablet out. The Voyager tablet could be a good way to test it out. It'd be cheap ass and an Android and say in the fire tablets, they control the prod quality. Basically, comparing them to an iPad. iPads, you cannot expand the memory on them. You cannot expand the storage capacity. And iPads probably, car say, 
Make you put, charge good fucking money. <laughs> like to buy an iPad. Of decent storage capacity. It would probably cost more than it would probably cost me to say. <laughs> it probably cost more than my goddamn phone anyway. <laughs> cost more than a uh, goddamn phone. As well as the case that's uh, hooked to in the holster. That I use for it. Cost better all three. All three is it cost it cost more than that. <clears throat> oh well. I'm sure it's a very thoroughly detailed video here. But I'd say it's worth it at least. Because you probably should know exactly what you're getting into.